What they do? She made man JT money undeniable from the almighty Poison Clan. Listen, I just jumped off the porch. Y'all lay around with for this episode. It's gonna be awesome with the dirty glove bastard. Dirty glove. Come here, smell it. <laughs> Check. Right, so we got a living legend on the porch with us today, man. JT Money. I'm on the porch. What's up, viewers and followers and loved ones? Yes, sir. There we are. Nah, it's an honor to have you here, yeah, too. Thank you man. for having me, though, you know. Nah, no problem, man. So first off, how you feeling today, man? I'm pretty awesome, man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I feel like I look, man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, but everything good, though, you know? Um, I, I feel a new energy. Something is familiar, feel like a, a wind, huh. feel like, you know, the clock ticking on that wind, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can stop playing right now and let the team play, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel. No, so. your name's been buzzing everywhere, man. You know, I saw you perform at the Heat game. Yeah. I was watching it. I watched every Miami game, right? Yeah. So, like, I'm watching NBA League Pass. Usually I mute it during the halftime show, and I happen to look up and like, Bro, that's JT Money performing right. there that shit, man. Yeah, now, see, now, that was an honor for me because, you know, they they allowed me to do that. They presented me with my official jersey and yep. everything, and it was just good to be at the crib, you know what I'm saying, being recognized, you know, after all these years. Oh, absolutely, yeah. man. What was your reaction when they reached out? It was like, man, we need you to perform. I said, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said, when? Run that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't say how much or nothing. When, when we gonna do that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nah, that, that was a good look, man. Right. I know fans probably really enjoyed that, man. Yeah, it was more of a surprise for the people that was there, though. Yeah. Because, right? you know, we didn't promote it in no kind of way. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, so what brings it to Atlanta, man? What have you been working on since you've been in the city? Um, well, you know, I've been getting around uh, seeing and being seen, you know, again, I've been up here for a long time mm -hmm. and uh, I, I'm, I'm actually working on a project. So, you know, I'm putting the pieces together, you know, so that's really what I've been working on, networking and um, connecting and reconnecting with folks who can make this happen, you know. Yeah. And um, yeah, but been working on music, you know, I got this project, Immortals. Hmm. It's going to be that though. Yeah, you just shared a pic of you and CeeLo. Yes. So I know y'all just cooked up some, yes. probably some classic material right yeah, there, man. It probably will be a classic, with all due modesty, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm saying, you know, right, should I name drop a little bit? Come on, let's Don't do it. Don't the you know yeah. what I'm Just a little bit, you know. I got to see it all, you know, we got Trey Daddy, I'm waiting on Ross to do his verse. We got uh, A-Ball and MJG, you know what I'm saying? Just to name a few, but you see it's some more. I'm going to get them legends and wait on some other Cats in my era caliber, but you know, I still got some young dudes too. Yeah. You know, young female, you know, Tokyo Jazz Trap, Beckham, you know what I'm saying? Pleasure people. Um, okay. Yeah, in the crib, you know. Understand? So, being from my era, you know, we just did our records, you know, but this new game is featured collaboration. For, so, I figure, you know, well, my young soldier figure, it's time to you need some features, man. Because huh. me, I'm thinking I could just do the whole album. Just do it slaying that JT money, but hmm. you know, it, it makes sense to uh, cross promote. You know what I'm saying? Oh, absolutely, yeah, man. So that's yeah, a win for all of us. Yeah, because I feel like the new generation, they may not be tapped into you, yeah. but they need to get hip to what you've been doing. Yeah, they really man. do. They need to holler at their favorite. They, they, they OG favorite uncle, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they need to holler at it. But you know, that's why I'm here too. You know, I came to do yeah. my part. I came to bless the hood. Yeah. Bless the hood and, you know, keep it moving up. And then, it's funny, they know some of my records, they just don't know who made it. They yeah. don't know what that, oh, yeah. that's him who made that record. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, I was kind of saying, I was talking to my boy in here, he, he younger, man, he's right. in his 20s. I was like, you know JT Money? He's like, I know the name. And I started singing Who That? He's like, oh. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. See, now you can always <laughs> get them now. You get them now, that's where a lot of them start at, but then you can't take them back here to... <laughs> I won't ask and I hell, you know, shake with oh, your yeah. mama again. You can't, and they're like, damn. But you know, once they go do their homework, mm -hmm. then it's like, okay. Yeah. So it, it works, you know. I, I got two lives in this rap game a poison clan life and a JT money mm -hmm. life. That's real. Yeah. So what inspires you today to keep creating, man? Over 30 years in the game. Yes, sir. Uh, I, I, the beats. I, I just like music, I like to create 
music, but you know, I, I got to feel the beat, you know. And then sometimes you might say something that spark me. Mm. It's like, oh shit, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know. And then they always ask me when I'm gonna give them something. Damn, Jay Streets need that real shit. Give me that. So I got like when they say, man, you just pack that shit up, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> then maybe you'll be done. <laughs> Possibly. But me, I'm a fighter, so I'm gonna try to fight again. <laughs> okay, maybe you shouldn't leave. But nah, but you know, as long as she love it, I'm gonna give it to her. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, for real, man. So, you know, Miami legend. I want you to paint us a picture of what Miami looked like during your come up. Like when when you was jumping off the porch yeah. in Miami, what did Miami look like? Um coat shorts, pearl silk shirts, <laughs> decks, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know I said before the ballets in the uh other game, but you know, corduroy, <laughs> straight legs. Let me see. Miami, you know, speakers, you know the culture. Oh yeah. Ghetto style DJs, pure funk, space funk, you know what I'm saying? Big wall of speakers. That's my Miami. That's Miami, not day Miami, you know, outside jams in the on the street, you know, not in the park, but we block out the street, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, tourism. Oh yeah. <laughs> Touch some productions, <laughs> <laughs> um, but it, it, it was definitely just the hood. You know, everybody was okay. I can say one thing: when I jumped out of the port, the hood was divided. Hmm. But when Poison Clan music came out, we brought everybody together because we was all on that one accord. Everybody identified with that music. Yeah, back in 1990, 89, whatever year it was. <laughs> yeah. What area of Miami are you from, JT? I'm um, all right. I'm from all over. Okay. We started in the city, moved over town, moved to Kansas City. Me and my mom moved back over town, then moved to Overlock, and then moved over to North Miami, and then we ended up in Norwood, okay. North Dade. And that's where I kind of grew up at, hmm. like New Orleans area. You know, and you want to talk high school, I went to New Orleans, North Miami Beach, and Kansas City. You know oh, what wow. I'm <laughs> All three high schools, man. Yeah. I graduated in Broward County Corrections, you know what I'm saying? I got my <laughs> diploma in jail, nigga, four days a month, you know what I'm saying? No, five days a month when you take the, the class, you know? So I knocked off a little time, you know, just stuff like that, in case they ain't know. Yeah, and yeah. these were some pretty rough areas you just mentioned too, man. Yeah, but as a shorty, but you gotta think, they rough, but that's where our community was at at the mm -hmm. time, you know, everybody was, Set that girl like everybody from there, no matter who moved out, whoever they moved out, you know, some people hustle and work hard and get out, and some people just be stuck. Yeah. You know, like more girls, one of the one, shit, she, she could get it. I ain't, I ain't never, you know what I'm saying? Mo girl, salute Mo girl, that lady, that other shit, that's all I'm gonna say. For sure. And she knows it too. Yeah. So um, you started rapping just by yourself, right? Like there was no Poison Clan at this no, time, No, we right? started, that's what, um, yeah, I guess I started rapping by myself. Like I even started rapping because like at New Orleans, it wasn't nothing but New York niggas who rap, you know what I'm saying, New York cats. And, and I was hearing that shit, but then I had to get in. But I wasn't <laughs> rapping then, but I did something, whatever I said, the cafeteria was, whoa. Next day, you know, I'm, I'm a rapper around the school, you know? Still going out on routes getting books, but you know, I rap now. And um, me and Deb, Deb and I moved down from East New York, Deb and okay. Drugs, you know, they brothers. The original Poison Queen, excuse me. So when they came in, we kind of hit it off immediately. Hmm. And we started going around doing stuff like Big Daddy 8600. That's, they had a college night, but we okay. was always sitting there on school night. Um, one day, Mr. Mix was in there. DJ from Two Live, producer, everything on Luke Records at the time. I always got to give him that. And uh, that man said, y'all want to make a record? I'm like, hell yeah. <laughs> and we never thought about making records now. So you've never been in a studio at this point? No, I, I've been in one studio, house studio before. See, I don't know if you remember Cookie from Power 96 back okay. in the day. She had, a, yeah, but she had something in the house, you know, when I first started, before I met there, and, um, I finally heard my voice on the tape. Back then, but anyway, though, back to that. After Mr. M after we met Mr. Mix, just say a month and a half later, the album was done. He say forty days, I say thirty days, but he know he was there. He did it. Man gave us twelve beats. We did all twelve. Eleven of them made the album. Oh shit! One of them ain't made it cause Luke ain't like it. 
For real? Yeah. <laughs> so what was the experience like putting together the album? Did you expect anything to come from it or were you just happy to be making music? A little bit of both. I was happy to be there. Like when you talk about the contract they put in front of us, you know, I was too young. Yeah. But I'm, I'm, I'm just signing that shit. I don't want to mess it. I don't want to go to no lawyer. Just sign this shit. I so you was under that. 18? Yeah, when okay. it came out, I was under 18. <laughs> when the parental advisory stick on, I'm still too young to buy it, but I made it. <laughs> Which yeah. is wild. It's wild, yeah. I created that shit, but I can't buy it. But um, yeah, but I did expect something because but as many nights we had done won these competitions, we were we knew we was something because we thought we were the rawest dudes in the city. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? When it came to that microphone, so um, Hobbs, Mr. Mitch, he heard that and he, he put us down. You know, but even the beats he had was fire. So and then you know, yeah, I did expect something. With all, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> I expected. It. Yeah, we expected it. Yeah, dance all night. This is dance, a classic, yeah. man. And that was the one. That, that was, was the one. Did right? you know this was the one? Or? Yeah, but, but in our minds, yeah, that's that club one. That's the yeah. one because we got to have that Miami, you know, the other ones, you know, because you listen to all the other beats, they was a little more regular hip hop, East yeah, Coast, West slower Coast, pace, yeah, yeah, slower pace. But that dance all night, we call that the club record. But funny enough, the first single was The Girl That I Hate, The Bitch That I Hate. Mm -hmm. You know, and I. I don't know, I guess they like relationship stuff, you know, men, and women going back and forth. I didn't understand that being the first single, but that record, they were showing us, like, that record did good in Cincinnati. For real? <laughs> oh, they like this shit up there. Huh. But that's just something I remember. Now, did you guys hit the road to promote the, the, this first album? Definitely. Okay. Yeah, we was on promo tour, 30 days, you know. Sometimes we go out, go out for two weeks, come back, go out another three weeks, mm. come back, and it was all on the road. Us, tapes, cassettes. This before CDs. See, CDs yeah. wasn't out to '92. You know what I'm saying? '90, it was 12 inches and <laughs> cassette, them cassette. You know what I'm saying? And we were sliding. I'm talking about. Just packed up in the van, dog, pillows and <laughs> Oh wow. <laughs> we really politicking. We really hit the campaign trail. We had to shake hands, kiss babies, sign autographs in record stores. Mm -hmm. You know, in store record stores. You know, that nigga see that that game ain't this game today, you know. Oh no, I social media changed button. everything. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, you actually had to go out there and see the people right. and sell this shit to right. them face to face. So now picture going into those other markets where they didn't see they don't understand i be telling you we fought the fight for you oh, cats yeah. to do what y'all be doing because we had to go in baltimore and dc and new york where they were like fuck is, what they talking about what is that shit? but w what i did how i changed the show up on them i would come out with the hardest shit then like forget that trying to come in smooth friendly i come in with our head hoes first Hey, yo, life's a bitch, so why, man? Now they're like, oh, shit. Oh, yeah, you he's know? spitting. Yeah, but now that I got your attention, <laughs> let's, get, let's get back to this shit, man. Yeah. Shit. So what's it like putting together the second album? Are you guys... Uh, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that, this see, is the one. when we split, though. See, mm -hmm. me and Dan split amicably. See, people be like, damn, where y'all fell over My dog say, I ain't going back. I'm not doing it. I say, what we going to do? He say, I'm not doing it. I said, all right then. Do you know what his reason was? Like, was it just money like, or? Yeah, well, we was all complaining about money. Cause you know, after that year and all the work we did, like we our money, we did all that. But we, you know, they were thinking we just supposed to get show money, hmm. but shit. Like you can't even make up those numbers. But anyway, he had his own plan though. See, I, I, that's, that's the only thing I can come up with. He had a plan that I ain't know nothing about. That's why I say, what we gonna do? I ain't doing it. Okay, you know what I'm saying? I just ain't going to detail, but I figured bro had his own plan because him and his brother came back the next year as home team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Figured out, so I just kept that poison clan, excuse me, I put it on my back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And uh, poisonous mentality was born, you know, so what well, that man said, you know, Luke introduced me to Mike Fresh. Well, I, I had a new Mike from off the road. He was a shy D here and there, you know, but I ain't know that boy was making them beats. And Mike, Mike gave me what I needed. You know what I'm saying? I used to just bust rounds to Mike and he'd be like, hold up. 
say that again. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, Mike had hooks and everything like, oh man, I, but you know how you always say that? He go to the record. And you know, it, it, it was that, you know what I'm saying? That poor mentality took us a little bit further. Oh, absolutely. You know, but the one thing I did do on that album, I said JT Money a lot. I oh, made yeah. sure they you, knew. You started the brand yourself yeah, at that brand, <laughs> Without knowing what I'm doing, I'm going to make sure they know. <laughs> if anything else happened, it would be JT Money. Yeah. Yeah, that was intentional, on purpose. Uh, Shake What Your Mama Gave You yes, is on sir. this record, man. So, yeah. like, do you remember that studio session when this was created? Here you go, ready? Shake What Your Mama Gave You. Devastator. Hmm. Can I tell you, he, he gave me a tape with three beats on it. I picked one beat, like I, I, I just wrote the song, it was all fast, you know. I wrote the song, and he said, oh no, you can't have that beat, Luke got that beat. I'm like, why the fuck you gave it to me then? So, fuck it. Uh, give me the other beat. And that's how the beat happened to be the one we took. Oh really? Yeah, I think it was intervention. Me and God said, I don't want this beat, I want it on this one. You understand the what I'm saying? The same song you just wrote though? Same song I okay. wrote, and that bitch just flowed the way it flowed. Hmm. I, he kept saying, because I went in and did the verses first. He like, man, what the hook? He heard that laugh. I was like, yeah, shake with your mama kid. He like, hold up, I got it. He ran in there and just did the shit. Cause I had it a whole nother way. It was gonna be like something, something, something to shake with your mama, you know? Hmm. But that boy did the Uncle Luke on that bitch. Shake with your mama. And that was the energy. Yeah. But yeah, that's how that went, you know what I'm saying? And um, in case y'all ain't know, I added that uh, Hashim all nothing. <laughs> Yeah, that was me. For I real? That. Yeah, because I was like, something missing, man. I said, it feel like it's supposed to be like that right there. And Mike had that record. Mike first was in there too with us. He said, no, nah, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> yeah. You just give my props, that's all. Yeah. Did you ever imagine 30 years later, this record still be getting spun like it is today? No. I Like, it never even crossed my mind. But after who that dropped, Hmm. I learned to respect it a little more. Really? Say what you want. Cause listen, who that was the strongest, but say what your mama gave you last the longest. Hmm. Like who that was big. Oh yeah. Here this year, Billboard big, yeah. This year. Yeah, Billboard Award winner, rap yes, singer of the year. But that say what your mama gave you. I'm saying, picture that record coming out in '92, and I worked that all the way through to '99 when mm -hmm. I did it. But then I put it on at the shows right now. Oh yeah, they still turn it up to this shit, man. Yeah. That song never died, man. Yeah, man. That thing never. <laughs> yeah. yeah, brother. Another one of my favorite on that second album is uh, Groove with the Poison Clay. Okay. Talk about that one. See, man. you might got a little gangster. Only the gangsters like that record. For real? Yeah, because they I love like, that record, man. But I don't, it, it was just supposed to be another club record, hmm. but it didn't take like that one, but when I run into players, they be like, yeah, but that grew with the foil. And then it's like a, but that's push. <laughs> doom, doom, doom. Oh yeah. Da -da -doom. You know, Miami music. But um, yeah, I was talking to life. See, even back then, my conversation, that's what they talking about today. What I was saying back then, about not going to the club and the house and I do that and how I move when I, that's the conversation, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Fighting the fight for you, young brothers, isn't it? <laughs> no, they got to respect that, man. Uh, one thing I really liked about you guys was you guys were really creative with the music videos, too, man. Yeah. Talk about that. Like, what was the vision? Like, did you guys have much input or was this just everything that was kind of pitched to you guys? Yeah, pitch, you know, treatments, you mm -hmm. know, some kind of creative that we'll add to it, you know, our own little flavor. Like, me and myself, I ain't never just said, oh, and I want to do the video like this. I ain't never did. Like, I, I showed the work ready to do my part, but. You know, I read that treatment and try to see what the director or whoever got going on. But then she was sometimes. I went back out. Oh, it's back. Okay. okay. Pick up. Yeah, and then sometimes Brother Luke was just coming out. Hey, man, so, so we're going to shoot this video. Yeah, just be ready, you know? Yeah. yeah. Uh, did the album take off right away as soon as you guys drop it? Point of mentality? Yeah. Yeah, it did. Okay. But see, back then, I was, you got a picture of me rolling. I'm, I'm off the porch, you know? I'm cutting up, like, before Low Life came out, I did something, I was fucked up. So by the time I hit the streets, the album booming. Hmm. Poor the mentality, fucked up. Up in South Carolina, by the time I made it home, see, love Luke, man. Luke gonna spend that money. Luke come get you now. I don't care what he say, he gonna pay you <laughs> what you did, but he gonna pay for you to keep doing it. That's fucked up. Anyway, 
As soon as I come home, I jump straight on it. Boom. Just busting, you know what I'm saying? Came home like a hero. Yeah. You know, so yeah, that one took off because as soon as they heard Shake with your mama gay, they was looking for that stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. And then the rest of it, you know, held them. But again, it was it was the time, the era, you know, nobody was doing what we was doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It like, oh, these niggas gangsters, these niggas pimping, these niggas booty shake. <laughs> but, you know, stand, tell a story over here, he, you know. But it's full circle. That's what I always thought an album should be the project. Yeah. Some of this, some of that. Some. Now I got that from Lou. They go some game. Yeah, you got to do a song like this. Like when I had that song, he he said, he said man, I heard you damn. You like you don't like one. What, what, what you love song? I said, nigga, I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing no love song, nigga. Because <laughs> he heard I O S. He like, damn, boy, that shit hard. I'm not doing that, player. Uh, you and Luke dropped that song, Faking Like Gangsters, too. Yeah. Where he like, even during the intro, he's like, yeah, me and JT Money don't even move like, yeah. you know, records in this shit. Yeah. Faking Like Gangsters. See, and that was us talking about the industry then. Because, you know, they used to always try to not consider us, consider Luke, Luke Records. They, but they couldn't deny it because we were selling tickets and selling music and, and demand. You know, it's almost like we was a thorn in the game side. You know what I'm saying? Like, God damn it, I can't get this shit out. But, um, yeah, that's right. Shit, you talk about 50 years and they still ain't shot my man out like they should, you uh-huh. know? But go ahead and let you do your thing. <laughs> yeah. No, I, guess I, I remember living down there and the, the band from the USA, like, they was banning his music, right. man. See, that was our first tour. The band in the USA tour, we was opening up for two live huh. and Luke everywhere. And, uh, yeah, all the way around, you know. So is this when you met Trick Daddy too? Was uh, your time with Luke? No, nah, Trick came up about seven years later, six, okay. seven years later. Like, you heard Trick in 96, I think, on Luke album. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I met Trick around that time, after he did Scar, you know, I walked okay. in, yeah. After he did Scar with Luke, that's when I met him. You know, like I knew all Trick, older brothers and family members prior. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. you was featured on his album uh, based on a true story right. on a couple yeah, times. Right. So I got to ask you, man, like uh, you, him, and were on a song with Buddy Rowe. Yeah. So all I know yeah. about Buddy Rowe is free Buddy Rowe. That's all yeah, I heard right, on every right. Trick Daddy song, man. Yeah. Like, just talk to us. Did you get to meet Buddy Rowe? Were you guys close? Or? Yeah, I know. See, Buddy Rowe was mauling to me. He hmm. went to school with me. Okay. You know, I, I don't know how they knew each other. They knew each other and they was dogs, you know. I don't know if they were locked up together, what up? But that was a little more than me, you know what I'm saying? But we was all, it's Miami back then. We was, uh, you had to be out there to know who was who and, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, we did the record. And, um, like, you got you picture that. I was featured on two songs on the first album. Mm-hmm. The way that came about, like, somebody, uh, came to me. I think it probably was Hop or somebody. They were like, yeah, man, the boy over there, they want to uh, set us up for a feature, because you think prior to that, I wasn't doing no features with nobody. I would ask Luther the Campbell, say, hey, man, set us up, ask me about a feature. What you think? He said, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> but, <laughs> but Luke had the mind of niggas trying to steal your game, you know, your popularity. But, I'm like, but why? Just, and they offered money, but I wouldn't do it. But see, you already rich. You know? yeah. anyway, <laughs> he doesn't need the money. <laughs> so my mind, I'm never thinking of that. But then I was thinking, well, shit, if I know him, I fuck with him. But then I, I ain't know him yet. But one day I was walking in the, in the Rolex, and uh, that boy was coming out, and he says, what? Man, Jay, I've been trying to get at you, man. One of you. you know, and I liked it that. See, I liked when a nigga come to me as a player, you know, like, Man, what's up, man? We got to do it, man. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and he said I was his favorite rapper. Yeah, nigga, you said it. <laughs> you and Tupac, nigga. But anyway, listen, but I lighted that the very next day. Uh, you know, we were saying numbers, whatever we did. I had to come around the crib, pay me out the road, and we was just moving. You know what I'm saying? Next day, you know, we get to the lab and we drop that shit. That you know what I'm saying? But it was dope pulling up on me that made me say. Oh, I respect that. Yeah. Because I'm just walking in, you know, throwing my motherfucking JT money thing. That boy, <laughs> Scott, man, Jay, what's up, man? I was trying to. <laughs> Done. 
Say less, brother. Done. Did you guys record both songs in that one studio session, or was it uh, separated? I'm not sure. I think so, though. I don't know why I think so, but it just seemed like I just remember that one day in the studio, and you know, I was on my pen was on fire then. I was yeah. ready. What are we talking about? Man, that smoke out there. Yeah. That's a classic mm -hmm. right there. Yeah. And then it was actually to another beat. Was it? Yeah. Then I got lined up, then I was talking to him. He like, yeah, boy, we, had, we got a new beat. You gotta hit it. He said, sound like GB. That's what he told me. It sound <laughs> like that GB. GB. I'm like. So I came home and heard it. The streets are already booming. That bit was slapping. Yeah. Yeah. See, we don't even do that no more. We used to rock that shit. Showtime, they was waiting on it. Hmm. So uh, come home, pip it on wax, to start creating this. Yeah. So like, what's your mindset going into this album? Do you feel like you got something to prove or are you just like ready to showcase JT Money on this one? That right there. It was time for JT Money because uh, Again, everybody had done switched out. I ain't gonna say switched out, but went on and did their ventures. You know, I be trying to be clean. I don't want to call. So I'm in their home team, I'm in Mad Ball, who's in their uptown mob. I'm just left up, one man poison clan. <laughs> so, you know, new situation. It was just gonna make a JT money, you know? Yeah. Mm hmm. And classic, I mean, the album's a classic, man. There's no denying mm -hmm. this. Did you feel that way when you completed it? Like, all right, this is the one, or did yeah. you need to see that feedback for you to kind of believe it? Nah, well, I'm a JT Money fan. I just think this guy <laughs> could do no wrong. Like, I think this nigga awesome. Like, when I be, I be looking for, what's next, Jay? You know, so I, I knew it was going to be that. Like, with the selection of the songs, I knew, compared to everything I was going, I knew that was going to be good in the street. I knew with that major marketing and promotion, I was going to be able to reach further or dig deeper or whatever they get. But um, yeah, man, I, it was about time. All right, half of those songs on that album, I had already, just okay. hadn't released. But when I connected with Tony Mercedes, we went out, he said, man, let me put an album out on you. Da -da -da. Get you some new beats, some real production. You know, get you some real production. Yeah, you had some big names on that show. Yeah, right. right. And look, and then a lot of them was just starting out to do. So they big names today. Yeah. When when I was doing Pimpin' on Wax, you know what I'm saying? But hey, that's neither here nor there. I, I applaud and, and, and love all my brother's success. But um, yeah, we started doing these records. You know, he, he, he took me to Tricky and Shakespeare, you know? Tricky, the one who did Who That Hollow and mm -hmm. Destiny to all that shit. Shake did the, the build and all that. No problems, but um, the boys locked in with me. Like I was going to their studio every day, you know. Yeah, I had me a little apartment right up here on Atlanta Road, you know what I'm saying, in the Viners, and I just go around the red zone every day, you know. And them boys would just have something. Yeah, we knocked that bitch out. No, y'all created a classic with this yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, so let's, let's talk about some of the songs on there. We'll start with Who Dat, because oh, that's, yeah. you know, this is a the yeah. smash hit on the on the album. Man. I did three verses, dude. Uh, they don't do three verses no more. Yeah, right. And that's what it was then. They were like, man, let my girl get on this record. Then they cut my other two verses down because they were doing three sixteens. Hmm. Can you imagine that song? Three sixteens ain't. He like, nah, right there. All right, cut it right there. That's the part. Oh, Bring that hook back. You know, he was producing that record. I was rapping. He was producing. Hmm. Yeah, all right, Jay, that's enough. You stop it right there. What could you do to stop it? No, because it was more to that verse. And hmm. <laughs> they like, that's it right there. But anyway, um, yeah, man. But he got a version. He was, I was watching him do an interview. He was telling somebody, like, we've been had this beat, and I was trying different people, and nobody could do it. I'm like, yeah, the beat was waiting on me. But my <laughs> version was, we was hanging out one night, all of us. We were at the Gentleman's Club, and um, we out, but next day, you know, all these extra people start coming around, and the whole thing was, well, who that? Who that? That's your man? You with, that's your people? Because they come around our balls and our business. <laughs> well, who that? Who that? We get home by 4, 5 in the morning. I swear, 9, 10 o'clock, they're like, Jay, you got to come back. We got this record. We got this beat, man. You got, I'm telling you, you need to get to the studio. I get there, and that thing was up. They were like, yeah, man, the hook going to go. That's the way I remember it. You okay. know what I'm saying? But his version, I don't know. Hmm. Nigga, that ain't happen like that. Nigga, happen like this. <laughs> well, 
give us the real. That's what that's we need, man. That's how I have it. Yeah. So do you expect it to blow up like it did? Like, it's a number one on Billboard on the rap charts, man. Well, I got to say this. The beginning of the record, he said, about time. Hmm. See, I was already 10 years in. I felt like it was about time for the majors to come get it. I, I, again, I'm a JT Money fan. I felt like with a major situation, they going to put me on TV in front of the people where I need to be. The record did what it did on its own, you know. Like when back then, before that, me and Trick was riding. Trick used to always say, "Man, play that record again, man. Play that record." Mm. <laughs> you know, he'd be called like this. Trick, play that record again. Play. Like Trick was there before who that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. So I, I knew it, we had something. It like, yeah, that was cool. But I don't know. Ain't, ain't no doubt about it. It was just what they gonna do with it? Cause I've made what I thought were good records the whole time, but if ain't nobody pushing it, you know, it's like 100% of nothing versus 10% of a billion, you know, some shit like that. Mm -hmm. So how does it make you feel, you know, when you win the award, you go number one, does it feel like, all right, finally I'm getting my props in this shit? It, it, it did, like about time, but then you think it's gonna keep going that way. <laughs> like every day from, from now on, it's on Michael Jackson now. No, I mean, <laughs> no, player, you ain't MJ yet, boy. You better get, 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 get your ass back in the studio. But, um, yeah, but, I mean, just that, you know, that was good enough for me. Like, if I came and went, just say if I didn't make another record, I got that, I did that. Like, you know, I came in the sweep, and I was up against some pretty heavy hitters, candidates, you know what I'm saying? Who were you up against that year? I don't, I don't recall. Know, whoever they had <laughs> <laughs> Whoever the hottest of the best is today, you know what I'm saying? They had this run across Jay back then, you know what I'm saying? Huh. But, uh, yeah, I mean, shit, all them niggas was out. Nigga Jay-Z, Buzz Browns, whoever, whoever, all them niggas was out, you know what I'm saying? But that year, JT Money had to get that rap single of the year, man. Yeah. Y'all do whatever else. But I'm taking this one. This one's mine, <laughs> all right? <laughs> nah, rightfully so, man. Got some other classics on that. I mean, the whole album is a classic, but play ass shit, oh, man. Shit, yeah. This shit, this shit still goes up today. Yeah. Let's talk about that record, the creative, for, uh, the creation for that one. When I originally did it, it was on a slow beat. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? It's slow beat. Uh, it's be some play ass shit, something. But then. Um, that got damn tricky, man. He got his beat. Ding, 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 ding. Then all of a sudden, I said, gotta work these hoes. Like, none of this was written. It's just the vibe. Gotta work these hoes. Gotta work these hoes. Gotta make this. Thing. Gotta work. Then I said, once that hook hit, I just, like, I took that first line from the thing and made it the hook. Uh, it be some play ass. Next thing you know, they like, damn, now. that's when we wrapped up the album, because that song came out the hood. Like, who that was supposed to be the last record? Right? Hmm. But he had this beat. And I was just, he said, man, Jay, you done. I don't fuck what you do now. You can just, yeah. Play <laughs> so those it. were the last two records yeah. added? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. That's amazing right there. Oh. Hey, man, Shake was the last one on that album. Yeah. It was sure. like, we get to that point, it's like, oh, we got it done. <laughs> and you got enough good stuff or whatever, this, that shit. Yeah. yeah. And whole problems, everything you rap about on whole problems is still relevant today. Yeah. Listen, man, I, I, I've i been approached with thank yous about that record. Thank you, bro. As soon as I went to my, I heard that record, boy, and I was, hey, man, I'm glad I could help. Because <laughs> everyone got, got hope problems, yeah, you know? Yeah, you go through it, you know? And what, what, what could you do to stop it? You got to let that go, man. You got to get over it. You cry. All right. Hurry up. Finish crying. You, you do? All right, man, let's get back. We got a business to run, man. Ain't no daycare. But um, what I was going to say, yeah, but that record was one of the ones I want it for the album, to, 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 for my original fans, because I knew I was going to another area, mm -hmm. but I wanted to keep that, the JT money, bitch eyes, or the Poison Clan guy, he talk about the hoes, you know that? So, but the album was pimping on wax anyway, but I needed <laughs> that record, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I needed that record. Yeah, I'm happy you put that shit on there. Yeah, man. but then it, it got funny, because I thought I was the only one like that until For real? I get to the show and I'm not doing it. And they're like, 
Where's Whole Problem? Yeah, but that, that happened to me twice. In my, it was just certain songs. They like, we can't, like, we know about what you got on the radio, but we want to hear that shit. They're like, but you're not going to do that song? And then as soon as it come on, you see the whole crowd. Hmm. Like, I, I'm actually seeing what they like about it. To fucking let it go, let it go. If it, then they start singing the word Hope Problem, the whole crowd. Yeah, you ain't even got to sing it. Women. <laughs> Kids, grown ladies, old. I'm like, wow, this shit is. But, and then he got more to understand it. Like, that true shit, like, they either hear you or they feel you. Like, yeah, I heard that shit. But when they feel it, they'll play it again, they rewind it, they tell their friends. They, they become, when they feel that shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I hear it. I hear it. Nigga, this that shit right here. <laughs> And that's kind of how it was for me, you know what I'm saying? Like, check. Run the yard the other one, though, in case we don't get to it. Uh, run the yard that other song. I'd be there, like, and they just said, when you gonna play that number six? <laughs> I don't even know what number six is. <laughs> really, run the yard, bro. Watch the crowd. Now, that's a real slow beat. Oh, yeah. But they... They eat that shit up, I'm sure. They eat that shit up. Yeah. Since I've been back in the A, now, when I did it, I was living here. Mm-hmm. They wasn't on it. I remember one girl really? used to play it when the album came out. Yep. Come back since I've been up, everywhere I went, they playing Run the Yard. So, like, that lady, that, that record done got some legs up here now, too. Yeah. You yeah. can't deny classic music, man. Right. Can't. So, it eventually catches on. You know, it's, it's, it grows, yeah. Organically, there you go. It was organic. Uh, you got a couple features on there I want to talk about. Um, All Right with Big Gip, man. Yes, sir. Talk about how you guys connected, and it looks like you guys got a solid relationship today, yeah. too. When I first came to A, Gip was the first dude to pick me up from my little apartment in Vine. Yeah. He found out I was there. Well, yeah, OG, come on. Came to pick me up. We rode around the city, took me around to see all the boys. Like, nigga, you got JT money? What's it? What you doing? <laughs> you know? But so Gip was going to be automatic on that project, and, you know? And him and Dallas knew I already had a relationship, and you know we had a relationship, you know. But now we got a budget to do the right thing, yeah. you know. It wasn't the buddy system. Was, well, you never know. We was buddies anyway. But we got uh, yeah the means. Yeah, you got to shoot the video and everything. Yeah, shoot the video. All right, we all flew out to Cali, LA, and shot oh. the video. That was awesome. Yeah, but that is my brother to this day. That whole family though, that whole done it, man. Dudes always had love and respect. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Never. I, I don't know no funny days with these guys. It's always like, yeah, it's solid. Always been solid. No, absolutely. Shout out to Gip, man. Yeah. He's family here too, man. Sure. Um, you and Too Short. Something about pimping. I feel like man. this just had to happen. You right. Was, you and Too Short. I had to. You got a, yeah. an album called Pimping on Wax. Yeah, you gotta have. You got a that, short right? dog on you, man. Yeah, well, and, and that's what it was, you know. Uh, we did the beat. Shit, I think I did three of them verses. But it's like, nah, you need some shout, dog. And, you know, Tom <laughs> and Shakespeare made that happen. But Short was already a man, but I guess they was able to get in touch with him. Because back when Poison Clan, when Short first came up here, we was always doing shows together. Hmm. Me and Short, we was always, you know what I'm saying? We always clicked up since. She had danced all night and shake with your mama gay. You oh, know wow. what I'm saying? Show had always been a player, always been cool. So, again, it was a chance to get it done without offending nobody. You know, we got the means. <laughs> hey, man, come on, let's go do this record. Slash the envelope. Yeah, but. And, and that record still is pop today. No, absolutely. People, now, that, that's another one I don't be doing in the show. They're like, what, Jay? Man, I got to remix your show, man. You just tripping. <laughs> but I'm waiting on shop. You know what I'm saying? So y'all book me in, show, and y'all going to get it. That'd be legendary right there, yeah. man. Yeah. Um, around this time, you also featured on the, the 456 song, man. Mm -hmm. Talk about how that came about. and uh, It was kind of like a different pace for you, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was. He was on some R&B shit. 
That's what I was doing. Well, not you, but it was an R&B <laughs> song, right? No, I'm just fucking with it. Am I misremembering this? Hold on. <laughs> nah, nah. Yeah, but see, I still, that was, well, that was the birth of Jay Baby, you know what I'm saying? He was going crazy about Jay Baby, all that Jay Baby, yeah. depending on what. Yeah, see, the bitch eyes was, who, 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 don't play with me, bitch. You know, that man was there. Jay Baby is like, come here, let me show you what to do with that. Don't waste it, dude. <laughs> you know, get more bees with honey and shit, you know, shit, some shit like that. But uh, four, five, six. Uh, it was more like, well, shit, y'all got the momentum going. Yeah. You might as well do one on us. You see, you see on yours, you be a part of hers. And, and we did it, you know what I'm saying? Um, but the funny part about 456, if you listen to that third verse, like, I wrote the third verse for us to go back and forth. That, if you listen to the way she rhyming, you'll see me like, eh, it don't really... Cause we was conversing with each other, but people at DreamWorks felt like I was taking over a record. Oh, for real? So they like they didn't yeah, want you to have him, that many. <laughs> yeah, just keep him right there, and then let her just do that verse like that. I'm like, I don't care. Just, I wrote the motherfucker still good. <laughs> You're getting crap. paid regardless. Yeah, right? but even then, they go IG. I am though, right? So they want to um, alter the paperwork to, to give me more. Hmm. I'm like, no, just leave this shit where it's at. Let's just split it. Our three words, me, you, and Candy, we did that. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's solid right that's there. That's that shit I did. <laughs> or oh, I did. You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah. you know, I could have had more of day record. But, you know, I get by. I, I've been blessed a long time, man. I, I got no problem. <laughs> if I got something for you, I'm going to give it to you. I ain't going to hold back. I ain't going to try to charge you. I ain't gonna try. I'm going to give you your shit because it's for you. Hey, man. It's burdening me to hold on to your shit. It's your shit, man. <laughs> Free me. Take this shit. Get, let me go. Be an asshole somewhere else. Hmm. Now, that's real of you, though, man. Yeah. Um, then High Low comes out. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we had to go, we had to go back to the doctor. Hmm. Dr. Stewart. Trigger Stewart. You know, but we was all in a situation. Um, now, one of my young dudes, man, he actually inspired that record. With the, yeah, yeah. He was like, no, man, I'm telling you that record. Because I was just sitting there walking around, you know, like, I didn't do hooks first. I was trying to get my flow, my cadence down, my words, how I'm going to come in. But I know these dudes, for, if you listen to rap ass nigga, I say he's selling beats and hooks and niggas pretty looks. And that's the first time I got my heart broke. They say, man, Jay, come on, man, with that verse. Don't nobody really care what you're saying. I'm like, what? <laughs> Bitch, I made my name by what I'm saying. I'm here in front of you because of shit I've been saying. But I guess it was about the hooks and the beat. But anyway, what was I talking about? Hello, yeah, my little mm -hmm. dude was like, yeah, but that just, it just sound like, hit him, hit him, hi, hit him, low, hit him. That's how he did it to me and my yeah. Sure. And I'm like, he kept saying, he keeps saying hit him, hit him, hit him. Then he added the hi, low, yeah, I'm a dude. J.K. Joker, he get a percentage of hollow right now, you know what I'm saying? Because he did that. Yeah. But um, and then we added our own Western flavor to it. <laughs> it, it, uh, it uh. <laughs> People ain't noticed that. They be like, damn, Jay, you done made me look at the record deal. I say, that's the country Western shit right there. <laughs> it, uh, she was catchy it, as hell, though. Right. right. You should see the crowd. Yeah. You see the crowd showtime. Everybody up, everybody down. <laughs> yeah. You also had the single Super Check on that album, too. Mm-hmm. I wrote that for Trina back then. Really? She didn't want to do it, yeah. Why didn't she want to do it? And then Soleil wasn't around, mm -hmm. but I actually did it for Trina, you know. Right, well, she was starting to pop then. She tried to charge me 10000 I'm like, nigga, <laughs> I'm your big brother. Nigga, I'm trying to do this for you. I'm giving you another one. The fuck is we talking about? I'm like, fuck it then, you know. But uh, that's just that. Yeah. But I wrote that shit for her, nigga. I wrote Chevy Game for Trick. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. It is so, what it is. And then I tried a bunch of chicks I knew that don't rap, but I'm right, right around, girl, right? Dow Simpson's like, no, nah, man. That shit ain't working. That shit ain't working. Work so we found a little chick out the hood, out of my nigga in the hood. Yeah. Looks like you had fun at the music video, though. Yes, and we did it home at the crib. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I, I, that's what I wanted. Yeah. 
That was a good video when you think about it. Check yeah, it that shit was all on BET, everything. Yeah, you're man. right. See, now that was a funny record. I used to always hear that beat under like the bed or something. Hmm. And that shit paid. <laughs> For real? <laughs> that shit paid, man. Like, I seen the video once or twice, three, you know. But every time when all these new reality shows would come on or somebody doing something, it was that beat playing up. Oh, shit. I'm like, I'm like, see, that means somebody back there got some power. You know what I'm saying? Yep. They use my shit. <laughs> but that shit paid, man. No, that's all the situation. Yeah. Do you remember the first time you met Ross? No, but he told me a story. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember um, first time I officially, me, he, he already had every damn husband. I seen the nigga at Aventura. And I, and I ran out to him like, hey, boy. So then, you know, he turned around and gave me a hug. Yeah, man, I'm finna do up on the two And I'm just like, you know, I mean, one day we were like, I know the rap shit. Like, you know, niggas, when they be in music, everybody say, hey, baby, I'm good. You know, that club talk, hey, man. You go see, you wake up, you on some more shit. I'm just like, boy, I'm good. I see you. And whenever you're ready for me, I'm, you know, I'm over here. And it's it been player since, but. He got a story like, man, Jay, you don't remember it was just me and you. And then I met you at the thing. We was up in your hotel. And me and you was vibe. You was talking, you know. I talked, stay, I was with you about two, three hours, you know, kicking it. <laughs> and I'm like, but, you know, again, me, the way I was moving at the time, you know, I, shit, if I seen something in you or I was fucking with you, I, I was trying to bless you. I was giving you whatever I had to give you. And, um, yeah, he told me that story. It was good, and I, and I liked it, you know. And it's, it's definitely believable, because everything you said, I remember all that part. But I don't remember <laughs> that. I must have been high or something. I don't know. But um, I, I tell dudes today, like, I run people. I knew everybody when they was interns and whatever. But then now they program the writers, now they yeah. exec. And uh, they always come back to me like, yeah, Jay, you the first one to show me. You the one that told me, bro, you don't remember you took me or you did this? And I'd be like, no, but it sound about like me. But then, <laughs> then you think about it. Thank God I was a real player. Because if I was a fuck man. Oh, yeah. Oh, they they, they have a different getting, story about yeah, you. Yeah, but now they got the ups on me. I don't even know who that is. I don't even know the running, you know. Yeah, so much easier to be a player. Yeah, it's always good to be a stand-up stand -up person. Stand-up right. You know? Check. Check. And I, I think that's what keep the game going. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. Yeah. I you never heard him coming to sue me for nothing. <laughs> I handled my business. Yeah. And then we, you know what I'm saying? Amicably. I remember you shared this post of, um, you said Scarface reached out to you to be in a music video for some artist for, he had just signed. For Ludacris. For yeah, Ludacris. when they first put that out, yeah, Face hit me up. And shit, I'm there. But then, you know, I'm like, well, that's Face. You know? When, when Face took over Def Jam South, that boy was, yeah, man, they gave me about 15 grand for one track, you know what I'm saying? That never came out, you know what I'm saying? Man, yeah, man, spending that money right. <laughs> that my dog, though, when he had this little thing that, like, called himself having a retirement party, I flew out to Houston, uh -huh. just popped up on it, like, because I'm like, you can't stop us. <laughs> what we going to do? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, respect, but you know, I had to do it. Just, just in case it was his last, I had to be there because it's my guy. You know? Yeah. When did you first meet Face? Um, back with two little live mothers, with Port and Metallic, because we had just split, me and Deb. Um, but they were, the ghetto boys liked Poison Clan when they heard it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and they was doing something with Luke back then. All this before mine playing tricks on him and all that, or probably as soon as that hit. Okay. So they was doing something, something similar to what we're doing. So I don't know where that foot is to be at. And then the second time I met Faith, he was like, oh man, it's too soon, man. Cause he like, yeah, I heard you say that shit good, but man, like y'all broke up too soon, man. Y'all huh. supposed to, cause Face a Debonair fan. I don't care what nobody, every time he see me, oh, man, where's Debonair? And, 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 <laughs> and it's Pac the Pierre. It's a, it's a, he liked that flow. You know what I'm saying? He liked their New York accent flow and, you know, but uh, I always been loved. But he was like, yeah, nigga, shit hard though, but damn, if, you, if your dog was there, <laughs> you know. 
but it, it just didn't work out that way. But yeah, yeah we always rock it now. Did y'all ever cook up? Did y'all ever make a song? Me and Faith? Nah, yeah. I'm, I'm waiting on him right now. Huh. I, I told him, you know what I'm saying? Bree be trying to get me to hit a man every day. I just can't bother <laughs> a person every day. I just gotta, you know, you wait till they come around. You know, yeah. this, this game take time. Everybody got their thing to do, they doing, and they prior. Like, I, I understand it. Like, like I, I don't get mad at nobody for handling their business the way they handle their business, you know? I just gotta handle mine, you know? Mm -hmm. And then and then I understand. Like, sometimes I see cats and they be like, yeah, Jay, man, I got that. I feel like, don't do me like that. I'm happy to see you, brother. Look, you know what I'm saying? But that's just me. That's probably what's odd about me. I'm like, nigga, man, we, it ain't got to be that. You know what I'm saying? We choose happiness, baby. Choose <laughs> cool. Nah, but yeah, that's all. We got something in the words, though, because okay. I'm going to go get it. If I got to go get him, I'm going to go get him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't taking no full answer, uh, face, mom, <laughs> brother. I ain't taking no, you know what I'm saying? How you going to do it with your brother? That's that. Now, yeah. it's out there. <laughs> In due time, man. Yeah, it's out there. Time. Right, it's yeah. done. So, Drink Champs, yeah. this interview's been everywhere, man. Yeah. So, like, they reach out to you? Are you surprised? Is it something you guys have talked about before, or? <laughs> it's funny, because it was a lot of people always tagging me to their posts. I was to the point, I felt like I'm bothering them. Because so many people. Because other people yeah, are like, man, y'all need to get jail. And, and you know, then a couple of my friends down in Miami, they would know EFN and they would talk, yeah, we're going to get them. And, and then the other cats would be like, yeah, we talked to such and such, we're going to get them. And I'm like, listen, man, that's cool. But y'all can't call me thinking I'm going to get excited. Hey, yeah, because I know how this shit works. Yeah. It's other people, and you know, algorithms and analytics and you know they don't if they don't know Jay what I mean to the culture what I mean to this part of the world they don't know and you know but the way they learning is these people keep bothering them <laughs> <laughs> you like so now they got to figure out what the fuck do, why do we keep need to see this guy who is he and you know I think that's kind of how it happened you know um but they had time then, because I've actually been had a date, then such and such has happened, and then we got to move the date. Then, you know, it, I understand, like, but when I get my chance to go in there and give it to you, I'm going to give it to you. You know, because I was going to come in and say, Yeah, y'all niggas don't know shit, man. But, you know, like, he did his homework, you know, went around, and we had a good, you know, it was a good thing, but. We was able to go there, I think. You know what I'm saying? Like by the time we left, he had a whole new respect. I have, but I felt like I got to say what I, you know. Mm -hmm. Niggas got me drunk too. I wasn't supposed to be drinking that True. much. They get everybody drunk there. <laughs> <laughs> that true sound. That's all that was right in the day. Liquor. The peace pipe was the weed. The true sound was the liquor. <laughs> Just get them drunk, let them talk. That's the whole purpose of the show, the whole right, <laughs> right. of the show, you know? Um, have you been surprised by like all the positive feedback you've gotten from that? And Surprised, not really, but appreciative and, and receiving that shit, because you know, I work hard, man, I deserve it. I try no, to do real. good, like, it's my turn. Can I eat now? It's my turn, you know what I'm saying? That's how I feel, but, hey, and then I also understand timing, too. So maybe, you know, the wheel just go how it go, you know? But yeah, I'm receiving it, but what I'm gonna do is uh, maximize its full potential, you know, strike mm -hmm. while the iron hot and I'm gonna go get them, yeah. So I got the album coming out, it's called Immortal Baby, you know what I'm saying? Get some PC merch, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> we doing features, we doing bookings, baby. Come nah, on, but I ain't, I ain't out there horn, though. Strictly professional business, baby. Nah, you, but, you but, is getting booked up <laughs> everywhere, though. What yeah. you got a show this weekend? Like, Yeah, we got a splash down in Miami this weekend. There you go. You know? um, but that, that's what sustained me all these years. Performances. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, over the bullshit. Under the radar, but over the bullshit. You know, it's a nice little medium. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Yeah. So what's next? We know the album. Yeah, I'm gonna do this immortal album. 
I'm gonna do my son and soul. I was gonna do an R&B album, and I'm gonna do son and soul. I keep saying it, right? I gotta be true. I'm gonna do me a comedy album because it's so much funny stuff. But then I'm gonna do a bunch of B movies, man. I'm going straight to Tubi, nigga. Netflix, Hulu. <laughs> People turn it up on Tubi right now, right. though, man. Yeah, but I ain't gonna have them funny edits. You know, my shit gonna be just like my music. <laughs> my movie's gonna be like my music. You know what I'm saying? Expect that. But, uh, no, nah, but I figure, you know, just anything in the business, you know, like I got a couple of young cats I, I, um, I want to see when, you know what I'm saying? I, I like them. And if I could pull into them, I'm, you know, I'm gonna stay in the business some kind of way and I'm gonna try to help versus hinder. I'm gonna try to help. Like, I know when it's time for me to get out the way though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna be holding your videos, holding, I ain't gonna do them like that. <laughs> you, you understand me, don't you? Right, yeah. But, you know, I'm, 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 yeah, you know what I'm saying? Until, it, until there's something else to do, man. Like, I always wanted the retirement money, but I ain't never wanna retire. Hmm. But just in case I feel like I wanna get. Yeah, I want the retirement money, but I don't want to retire. It's just move job. Like I tell the team, the, to, to, I always say this, like the day it's me, but it'll be you tomorrow. It'll be hell in that day. Like the day you arrive, the next day you working the merchandise, the next day you on the door watching the money, the next day you, you doing sound, whatever, but it's the team. Cassidy never grasped that. You know, I used to tell him, like, you got to picture the engine, man, you know, the battery, the spark plugs, the this and that, the shit that make the shit move. I'm saying, it ain't, I understood this, like, you know what I'm saying? This is why I got y'all around here, but then y'all competing with each other to get over here, and that shit don't make sense. It's like, oh shit, that's what hoes do. <laughs> you know? This is, I'm just saying, I don't know why I did that. Somebody needed to hear it, baby. Uh, you know, it's like they say, teamwork make the dream work. Teamwork yeah. make the dream work. Yeah. All right, JT, you got a shout out you'd like to give before we wrap it up here, brother? Yeah, well, I, I, being that we're in the A, I want to shout out to all these players that uh, came through, but I know this thing nationwide, so all the players and players around the world. Look, OG Perspective on the streets right now. From the ball hitting gyms on the street right now. Immortal on the way, and y'all know about that poison clan returning the bitch eyes and all that. Let's get them. That's all, man. Be awesome. Be awesome. Check.